relating to our GIT. So first of all, we must have to know what is the definition for the ligaments. If you want to define the ligaments, please remember. <clears throat> ligaments, it is a double layer folds of peritoneum. It is a double layer folds of peritoneum which is connecting the organs to the abdominal wall or with each other. Okay, so if uh, if any organ is present, for example, liver, if it is connecting with the uh, other organs, for example, with the duodenum, it is known as ligament, or if it is connecting, for example, uh, <clears throat> the stomach with the spleen, it is known as gastrosplenic ligament, or if the spleen is connecting with the, uh, you can say the kidneys, then it is known as spleenorenal ligaments, okay? Or if the ligaments which is connecting to the anterior abdominal wall, or if the layer of peritoneum it is connecting to the anterior abdominal wall, it is known as ligaments. So the definition for the ligaments, it is, uh, you can see it is a double layer of peritoneum. It is a double layer of peritoneum which is connecting organs to the abdominal wall or to each other with, <clears throat> or to each other, uh, that is known as the ligaments. Okay, so now some of the important ligaments which you must have to know. Number one, I am going to draw here spleen so this is our spleen okay this is our spleen and here for a rough schematic diagram here i am going to draw here the kidneys okay so this is the kidneys okay so now we must have to know certain important ligaments relating to the stomach and the spleen this is our spleen okay this is the spleen and this is our kidneys okay now see here everyone now a ligament is forming between the stomach and the spleen okay this ligament which i am highlighting here in the red color this ligament this is our stomach this is our stomach this is our liver okay so this ligament which i highlight here in the red color which is forming between the stomach and the spleen this is known as gastrosplenic ligament this is known as which ligament gastro Splenic ligament, or you can say that this ligament it is forming between the greater. This is the greater curvature of the stomach, or it is forming between the greater curvature of the stomach and the spleen. Okay, so first important point relating to the gastrosplenic ligament, which you must have to remember that in this ligament you have short gastric arteries present. You have short gastric arteries present, number one, and you have present left gastroepiploic artery. Okay, so very important point that in this gastrosplenic ligament, which is forming between the stomach and the spleen or between the greater curvature of the stomach and the spleen, you have short gastric arteries present and you have left gastroepiploic artery present. Okay, and one another important relating to gastrosplenic ligament, which you must have to remember that it is a derivative of your dorsal mesentery. Okay, so it is a derivative of your dorsal mesentery. So these are the important points relating to your gastrosplenic ligament. Now next ligament C here, which is forming here, okay, between the spleen and the kidneys, which I highlight here in the yellow color. This is known as spleno-renal ligament. This is known as which ligament? Spleno-renal ligament. So you can say that spleno-renal ligament name is saying to you spleno-renal ligament between the spleen and the kidneys okay or you can say that it is formed between the spleen and your left pararenal space or spleno-renal ligament so this is your spleno-renal ligament and very important point what is present here <clears throat> in the spleno-renal ligament your splenal artery is present your spleen a splenic vein is present okay and the tail of pancreas is present okay tail of pancreas tail of pancreas okay so very important point relating to this ligament which is forming between the spleen and the kidney that is the spleno-renal ligament and here you have your splenic artery present your splenic vein is present and the tail of pancreas is present and one important point that spleno-renal ligament, it is also a derivative of dorsal mesentery. Okay. It is also a derivative of dorsal mesentery. Now another ligament is forming here. 
I am going to highlight here in blue color. Okay, like this. That is forming between the greater curvature of the stomach, between the greater curvature of the stomach and the transverse colon here. That is known as gastrocolic ligament. Gastrocolic ligament. Okay, so gastrocolic ligament. Okay, gastrocolic ligament. Stomach, colic means intestine. So gastrocolic ligament is forming at the greater curvature of the stomach and your transverse colon. Okay, and what is present here? Present here is also your gastroepiploic arteries. Gastroepiploic arteries. So gastroepiploic arteries are present in gastrocolic ligament. And please remember this ligament is also a derivative of your dorsal mesenteric. So it is also a derivative of dorsal mesenteric. So, so see here, in the dorsal mesenteries, you have spleno-renal ligament between the spleen and the kidney, which is I'm showing here in the yellow color. Then you have gastrosplenic ligament, which is forming between the greater curvature of the stomach and the spleen. And then you have gastrocolic ligament, which is forming again between the greater curvature of the stomach and the large intestine. And all these three ligaments are your derivatives of your dorsal mesentery. Now coming into our important ligaments relating to the liver. So whenever you are studying uh, ligaments relating to the liver, please remember you have to remember falciform ligament. Falciform ligament. Okay. You have to remember falciform ligament number one. You have to remember coronary ligaments. Coronary ligaments. And you must have to know triangular ligaments. So number one important point relating to all these three ligaments. All these three ligaments are derivatives of your ventral mesentery. All these three ligaments are derivatives of your ventral mesentery. And this is this ligament which I am highlighting here in the blue color. This is your falciform ligament. This is which ligament? Falciform ligament. And falciform ligament, you already said that it is a derivative of your ventral mesentery. And this falciform ligament, it is attaching the liver. It is attaching the liver to anterior abdominal wall. Anterior abdominal wall. So it is attaching the liver to the anterior abdominal wall. And very important point here, which you must have to know that in this ligament here, in this ligament here, and another ligament is present. Okay. That ligament which is present here in the falciform ligament, this ligament is known as ligamentum teres or ligamentum teres hepatis. Okay, so this ligament which is present in your, you can say the falciform ligament, this is your ligamentum teres or ligament teres hepatis. And this ligamentum teres, please remember, this ligamentum teres. It is a derivative of your fetal. It is a derivative of your fetal umbilical vein. Okay, so it is a derivative of your fetal umbilical vein. So fetal umbilical vein, this is your ligament teres. It is not a derivative of your ventral mesentery. It is a derivative of your fetal umbilical vein. Okay, and here also you have your patent paraumbilical veins also present okay so this is a very important point which i want you to remember okay and then you have here see here everyone between the liver and your stomach here which i am highlighting here in the arcal you have your lesser momentum present so this is your lesser momentum this lesser momentum it is also derivative of your ventral mesentery Okay, so lesser momentum, it is also derivative of your ventral mesentery and you can divide this lesser momentum also into two ligaments, hepatodudinal ligament, okay, number one point, hepatodudinal ligament and number two point, gastrohepatic ligament, okay, so see here, this lesser momentum, this one, this lesser momentum, which is forming between the liver and the stomach, are attaching liver with the lesser curvature of the stomach, this lesser momentum, which is also a derivative of ventral mesentery, it contains two ligaments, or it is formed by your two ligaments. What are the two ligaments? Hepatodudinal ligament and your gastrohepatic ligament. And please remember, in your gastrohepatic ligaments, you have your gastric arteries present. 
in hepatoduodenal ligament please remember your portal triad is present okay so portal triad which consists of three structures what are the three structures duct artery and vein bile duct hepatic artery and portal vein okay so all these are important points relating to the ligament of or ligaments of the gft okay